So you build a workshop application that allows end users to take operational decisions based on real-time data in the platform. But what you've also noticed is that these end users always perform the same repetitive tasks when using the app. Maybe they always filter to the same location, to the same date range, or just go to the same page in the app every time. Workshop allows the functionality to use preloaded states. And in this tutorial, we're going to walk through two main ways of doing so, promoted variables and saved states. First, let's look at promoted variables through a simple example. In this application, users can triage alerts about commercial flight delays in order for the airline to make decisions about the best course of action. The filters on the right-hand side help users navigate the data displayed in a tabular format and on a map. The application is built as a workshop module consisting of two pages. The default homepage called Alert Inbox, whose ID is Inbox, and an Alert Map page called Map, which users can navigate to. We want to create a URL which will take an end user directly to the Alert Map page. In the module settings, we navigate to the variable based page selection and create a new string variable called active page that will determine which page is displayed. We now promote this variable by clicking the star and giving it an external ID, for example, page. Now that we've created and promoted the active page string variable, we can save and publish this change to the module. When we load the app normally, the alert inbox will stay the default home page. However, if we add a page parameter to the URL and reference the ID of the alert map page, we can open the module and land directly on the alert map. I can use this URL as a bookmark, send it to a colleague, reference it in other modules, or even make it a notification link. Now that we understand the purpose and use of promoted variables, let's look at state saving. State saving allows users to store and share the current state of their work. Going back to our original Alerts Inbox application, we've learned that our users frequently open the application and apply the same filters to get to the subset of alerts relevant to their investigation. We will configure the application to preserve the current states of the two object set filter variables. First, we'll promote the prominent terms filter variable, giving it an external ID. And then we'll do the same with the other filter list variable. In the module settings, we will now enable state saving by clicking the toggle. We can give my saved states a name, check which promoted variables will be included, and decide on the location where the states will be saved. Here, we'll allow users to save the resources to any Compass location. With state saving enabled, let's look at the application from the user's perspective. For my current work assignment, I'm triaging high-priority, high-risk delay alerts for flights in the summer months. Specifically, every time I log into the application, I add an additional risk score filter, which narrows my search to alerts above a score of 25. I also select only the flights for the date range I'm interested in. Now I can save these selection criteria as a saved state to either a private location or a public project and come back to it the next day. I can also share this configuration through a link or look for other states me or my colleagues have saved. Your users will now be able to get to the right data quicker by saving and sharing states in workshop. Thank you and see you next time.